So the North Carolina Farm Act of 2021 was filed uh, this past week. This is the annual uh, Farm Act that, that has a lot of obviously agricultural provisions in them. Um, they're likely to change as it moves through the General Assembly a little bit, but some of the provisions that are in there now, uh, one will require the um, Department of Environmental Quality to issue a general permit for on-farm swine digesters. And so these is uh, sort of the, the latest iteration of, of uh, waste treatment on the swine farms is to use digesters and to create biogas and then use that biogas as a replacement for natural gas. Um, there's some issues about how long it takes to get those, those farms permitted. And so this would create a process to where they would all be issued a, what would be called a general permit. So it'd still go through the permitting process, uh, but it'd be a little bit more streamlined. Um, there's also a, a provision in there uh, related to when H-2A workers come into North Carolina. Some of them are eligible to apply through DMV for driver's licenses. Um, and so this would um, allow DMV to issue those driver's licenses for a little bit longer time period than they, than they have been currently so that they, when, they come, when they come back year after year, they still have a, a valid North Carolina driver's license uh, so that they can uh, use while they're on the, working on the farm. So also in the, in the Farm Act this year is some uh, language that would update the uh, voluntary ag district statutes. And so the Department of Ag and their advisory committee have been working over the last few years to, to make tweaks to the voluntary ag districts to make them a little bit more, um, a little more meaningful. Uh, there's also a provision related to um, increasing the penalties for timber theft. Uh, so when you look at um, whether somebody cuts across the line um, on, or in this case purposefully and, and steals timber or, um, or does not make payment on a timber contract, those types of things, there's some increased penalties now um, or that proposed now uh, for, for those particular issues. So we've, we've already talked about this a little bit before, but it's almost official. Um, the General Assembly has sent to the governor the bill that would name the new Agricultural Sciences Center for Commissioner Steve Troxler. So that's uh, pass the General Assembly and to the governor for his signature. The biennial budget is still in, I guess you would call it, the behind the scenes negotiations. So the House and Senate uh, budget writers are, are still negotiating on, a, on what we call a top line budget number. So they're, they're trying to decide between the House and the Senate how much total money they're going to spend. Um, uh, the, right now, it doesn't sound like they've quite reached that agreement. So as they continue that, um, the, the true budget process really hasn't started yet. But uh, as soon as they agree on a number, then things will likely move rather, rather quickly in the Senate uh, for them to, to propose their, their budget.